right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing some surf fishing today. Uh, I'm at the Jersey Shore. All right, we're on a great fishing bender right now. I've been fishing for days, all right? And uh, started out with black drum. Uh, caught one black drum the other morning or evening, and then uh, yesterday got the bluefish pretty good. Bluefish really made a good showing for the first time yesterday. The day before there were some, but yesterday I think was the first day that there was a lot. And uh, today we're gonna try to catch them off the beach. We got this great overcast, 57 degrees. It's like slick calm, there's not much wind. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna do some surf fishing. And uh, hopefully we'll find the bluefish on the beaches. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens. It's actually pretty chilly out here. There's a little bit of rain. We're walking over the dune to check out the beach. Oh, okay. We got birds working. That's what we're looking at. Oh, it looks good, dude. I don't know. There's like a lot of birds milling around out there. They're not really working per se. Uh, oh, the seagull has a bunker right there. All right. All right, seagull has a bunker. I like that. All right, let's get ready. Let's give it a shot. Let's get after it. This is what I was striper fishing with last night, just the SP minnow. And I think I'm gonna put on this other SP minnow. Start with this. One right there. All right. Yeah, hopefully there's some bluefish around on this beach. I'm liking, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think I just saw like a swirl. I don't know, we might, we might have landed on them here. We got some pretty good depth along this beach. Pretty deep. And then right over here is this point. Come on, bluefish. At this point, it's like April 29th. There's like not a whole lot of bass on the beaches. It's a little early in the season to be seeing bass. There's definitely short bass uh, and like rats. Little ones. I don't know. Give this a little while. If we don't catch anything, we'll move. Do I just get bit? I don't know. I don't know if I just got bit. I either got bit or I hit bottom. Oh, yeah. Got bit. That's a blue fish. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. It's a fish, though. All right. That's a bass. All right. Good. All right, that's not bad. It's like a 24 incher. That is not bad, okay. Pretty cool. Get your pliers with your treble hooks here, folks. You know, you definitely need your pliers. So that's something that we are very... We need pliers. All right, nice ocean bass. I'll take it. That 60-pound leader on right now. I was bass fishing last night and I had this 60 pound leader on. But when I was blue fishing yesterday, I was using 100 pound. Just to really play it safe against the toothy bluefish. But this 60 pound is gonna work for the blues too. No problem. If we run into any blues, you know. No guarantee we're gonna get any bluefish. 
All right, we just switched to a bucktail here. Could be some deeper water than I think. It could be like eight feet deep out there. And maybe there's some lazy fish. Don't want to rise for the SP. Or maybe there's a fluke down there. It's like April 29th, so it's probably not, there's probably not a lot of fluke around. There's definitely some fluke around though. Maybe, maybe there's a hungry fluke. I wanna make it like very clear that right now I'm trying to film a video. So I'm not going to like the honey holes where I know there's like big bluefish. We're fishing the beach because we don't want to burn the honey holes. We're looking for the beach bluefish. The video, oh there's a fish. Video friendly bluefish. All right, Bucktail got us another fish, it's a bass. Small bass. There's a little bass. You gotta love the ocean bass, the surf bass, the light color. Alright, well we're gonna keep bucktailing a little bit here. No bluefish, two bass. Better than nothing. But probably gonna end up moving, trying a different beach. Let's see if we can't get on some blues. No bluefish off that first beach. So uh, yeah, we're driving a little bit. Check a different beach. We got the skunk off. We shook the skunk, but not the desired gorilla bluefish. All right, let's try somewhere else. All right. Next beach. Yeah, I don't see bluefish, but that doesn't mean they're not here. We're gonna take some casts. I'm throwing this bucktail. Uh, this beach is a little deeper. It's kind of just like a a bowl. Thinking, you know, maybe better odds of catching a bluefish here off like a deeper beach. But kind of just. Casting into the desert here, hoping they come through. All right, SP Minnow is on now. Let's see if that maybe makes any kind of difference for us. Had one bite on the bucktail here, first like 15 minutes. Missed it. Oh, fish on. What is that? Is that a blue fish? Kind of looked like it. It is. It's a blue fish. All right. That's not. That's not what we're really after there. I mean, right kind, wrong size. Unfortunately, just barely stuck him in the eyeball. He will survive, although he may have a bit of adversity ahead. Should be fine. Maybe that is the uh, start. That's definitely not like the bluefish we're hoping to catch. It's like good variation in size, like where I was catching them yesterday. You would get that size fish and then you would get a 10 pounder. So that, that gives me some hope. Definitely hopeful, you know, maybe we can hit a proper one. There was a bite. There he is. That is a 
small fish. Eh. Another small blue fish. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, that's a little disappointing. Like, I was hoping there was gonna be some nice... Nice blues. Like, this is not... Mm. Not quite the size I was hoping for. But it is the right kind. Yeah, these fish don't have any teeth. Alright. We're gonna release this little guy. Yeah, honestly, like, kind of, kind of disappointing that the two bluefish caught were small like that. Just hoping we could find some 30 inches. There's another. Oh, that one might be nicer. Maybe. Oh, they're moving in. It's gotta be a little nicer. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Hey, yeah, we're getting bigger. Getting bigger. It's a little mo better. I don't want them like flopping all around in the sand, but. What he's doing. All right, the hook is out. Might as well just give him a quick measurement. Mm. He's 29 inches. That's that's what we're hoping to catch out here. Some nicer blue fish. Mm -mm. A little more better. SP minnow is what they want. And it's crazy how they just like moved in like that. All of a sudden that's like two bites and like two or three casts. That's what we were hoping would happen. For an April bluefish, that thing's like kind of, kind of healthy, kind of filled out, you know, not, oh, not real skinny. A lot of times they're like super skinny. Early season, this one's a little smaller. Oh, perfect release. Blue. I think we're gonna need the pliers. It might be time to throw the SP that only has one hook on it. Because uh, these things are starting to thicken up here. Yeah, 
There we go. Look at that, he opened his mouth. Instead of clamping down. Okay. All right, another solid one. Let's get him back in the water. Quick release, shoots off. Oh yeah, all right. All right, so we're gonna take this SP off, put one on that only has the front treble. What in the hell? Take a look at that, folks. That right there is something. That is something. Talk about micro bass. That thing, that thing is not gonna, not gonna survive the rest of the day. The bluefish are gonna find that thing. They're gonna eat them. That ain't right. That thing needs to. It needs to. It needs to grow. Stuck him with that single treble hook, though. It's like kind of shocking. All right. Well, just like that, the fish vanished. Haven't had a bite in a while. Tide is uh, starting to go out. I don't know, it's totally a high tide bite. And uh, I don't know, this might be the end of the video. Might not, we'll see.